December 5th is International Ninja Day, first celebrated in 2003. The influence of ninja is felt all over the world. You can find them interpreted in popular modern comics, games and film, with many characters inspired by the typical secrecy, skill and heroism. Today we speak to Simon Yeo about the Japanese practice of ninjutsu and what it really means to actually be a ninja. Simon holds an incredible 15th degree black belt in ninjutsu after having travelled all over the world studying this very particular kind of martial art. He now teaches children in a school in Fulham and we're here today to speak to him about what it's all about. It's International Ninja Day and it's very important because ninjutsu is, um, although a thousand years old, is totally valid in today's society. The simplest form is that it's a completely holistic um, style. So whereas a lot of arts specialise in punch and kicking or locks and throws, not only do we encompass all, all of those, but we also think about healthy living, um, how, how to, to move more functionally so that we're positioning, positioning our bodies in the most efficient place. Not to say that a lot of the other arts don't do that, but um, it, it's more kind of a global view of the human being. Pop culture has been very useful and it's been very unhelpful. Um, in the 70s, it drove a lot of people to this, this martial art because it was a sort of ninja boom. So lots of ninja films and stuff. The, the downside of it is, is that um, it brings, certainly in the adult class, lots of fantasy. Very, very good at the moment as far as Ninjago is concerned in the children's classes because every boy wants to be a ninja. <laughs> and some older boys still want to be ninjas. Being a ninja is all about physical and mental control. Hopefully, with some perseverance, I will be as good as Simon by next year's International Ninja Day.